Check Ultimate Guard .com and find premium quality products for your favorite trading card game. Check video description or visit Ultimate Guard for more. How's it going, Poké fans? Welcome back to Pokémon TCG Center. Um, another day, another video. Um, GX hype, Sun and Moon hype is real. Um, I'm very hooked up to making up those new videos. And yeah, not sure what to say, um, but I just built another deck uh, with the Wileplume around, of course, as a backup um, support. And I decided to build a uh, Dedicute GX, but with with, uh, with not uh, Dedicute as a main attacker, but with the Trevenant EX as a main attacker. So let's just uh, talk a little bit about a Trevenant EX. 180 HP Grass Pokemon. A very underrated card uh, for a long time. It's printed in the um, Primal Clash. It has, of course, weakness on the fire and true retreat cost, but there is a very huge catch about this card. With just a single Grass Energy, you can go for 20 and prevent your opponent's active Pokémon or defending Pokémon uh, from being able to retreat next turn. What that means? Under the item lock, we can attack for 20 and we can easily control the game with the Wild Bloom, of course, with, uh, in, on the bench, with the item lock, of course, with the retreat uh, possibility, of course, and with our Dedicute GX Feeder Arrow uh, for 2 damage counters per turn. So, Let's say we have two Dedicus GX on the bench and Dark Forest for 20 to active Pokemon. Let's say we play against Volcanion EX with Trader Treat Cost. And let's say that Volcanion actually have um, zero energies. We can just use that Feeder, feeder Arrow and spread six damage counters per turn. And when our opponent tries to uh, play energies to active one, and when he attaches two of them, we can just license to another uh, Volcanion and simply just uh, contain spreading uh, two damage counters with the feeder arrow. In theory, that works perfect. Um, in the real world, it really depends on how many Dedicus GX you can put on the bench and uh, how fast you can establish item lock. But with this build, you can do that um, very quickly. So the main focus is, of course, to use Dark Force and attack for 20, a prevent opponent active Pokemon from being able to retreat. And with Dedicus GX, just spread damage around the board to uh, Pokemon that we really need to uh, knock out. It's easier to knock out those Shamans because um, three turns of Feeder Arrow will be enough to knock out Shaman, and also our opponent active Pokemon will have all of these six damage counters on it. So with the six damage counters on active Pokemon and two prize cards last, we still need three more turns to knock out another Shaman, for example, if our opponent have. But in the meantime, of course, our opponent can attach as, as many energies as he wants to retreat active Pokemon, but still with the Lysander, we can control the game easily. And of course, with the um, Dedicute GX by itself and Hall of Hunt GX, we can simply put three cards from our Disco Pile back into our hand, so we can just grab another Lysanders and still have a couple more Lysanders to um, buy a couple more turns with our uh, Feeder Arrow. So, in theory, as I mentioned, it works just perfect. In the real world, I'm not sure how it's going to work. Um, this deck needs to be tested a lot, but so far the deck list is very balanced and is very um, is very good. It's it's very consistent, so that's the most important thing. 20 Pokémon, 32 trainer cards, and eight energies, 60 cards as usual in total. So I'm running two copies of Adich Glam and Wildbloom as always um, in my Wildbloom line. I don't like to have three three three. Nope, simply, because I'm running also Revital Lasers, and that's just, that just does not make, make any sense to have more Wild Blooms. If they're prized, they're prized, but uh, 1 in 100 games, probably both Wild Blooms or both Glums or both Adish are going to be prized. Um, 4 copies of Ravlet, 3 copies of that uh, Dartrix, and 3 copies of uh, De Dedicue GX. So the biggest problem is going to be if... Um, those Dartrix or Dedicus are going to be uh, priced. And of course, the main attacker is going to be Trevenant TX with that Dark Forest. And of course, Wood Blast is very powerful because it can strike for 50 and 20 more for each Grass Energy attached to uh, a Trevenant. So, uh, from the item line, I decided to go with two copies of Acrobike. Uh, it's a very good card, it's very important to go through our deck as fast as we can. So, Acrobike will allow me to look at the top two cards of my deck and put one of them in my hand and discard another one. Um, two copies of Level Balls, uh, just because with the Level Ball I can search my deck for Adish, Glam, Rowlet and Dartrix. Very important. 
because if I can start with Forest of the John Plant, Level Ball, Timer Ball, and let's say Sycamore, I can have Vileplume turn 1. But even better, I can have my um, Dartrix and Glum if I can hit two heads with that Timer Ball. Two copies of Revital Lasers to being able to pull some of my Grass Pokemon from my Disco Pile back into my hand. Two Timer Balls for each heads. I flip on the coin flip. In total, we are flipping two coins. Uh, I can put my Evolution Pokemons for each head uh, for my deck into my hand. Four copies of Trainer's Mails for the best consistency. I was thinking a little bit more. Um, three Trainer's Mails, three Acrobikes. At the end, I decided to go with four copies of Trainer's Mails. Overall, it's much better than Acrobike. Uh, when you speak about searching Ultra Ball or uh, seek a more crucial moment. Uh, four copies of Ultra Balls, discard two cards from your hand, search your deck for any Pokemon you like. Mostly for the Dedicute GX, and Trevenant and Shaman EX. Um, Dedicute GX had two retreat costs, so he cannot be searched with a Heavy Ball. But since I have Shaman, I really need that Ultra Ball, of course, to do um, additional drop support. Four copies of uh, Forest of the John Plant uh, for the best... Um, for the best evolution and the fastest evolution I can get. Uh, very important for consistency, for Stadium War, of course. Um, two copies of Lysander. Switch one of your opponent bench Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon. Lysander is very important for this deck. It's the main piece of puzzle with the Trevenant, of course, and the uh, Wileplum. Uh, two copies of N. Uh, each player shuffle his or her hand in his or her deck. Then each player will drop cards. Will drop a card for each of his remaining prize cards, of course. Very powerful and very broken. Four Sycamores, discard hand, drop seven. Um, two copies of Flowstone, of course, for the... Sh uh, the, main, the main reason I'm running two copies of Flowstones, uh, uh, not three, is because I'm not, I don't have more uh, space for um, three copies of Flowstones, and I also don't need three copies of Flowstones. I just need at least one Flowstone for the Wild Plume in case I stuck with him in the front and I cannot retreat. Uh, two copies of Weakness Policies, very important for this deck because uh, Volcanion is going to be a big deal, and... Volcanion can just one hit knock up my Trevenant with 130, and that's the big problem. So I really need to have weakness policy and at least somehow try to prevent my opponent from being able to knock me out without two additional steam ups. Only two double covers energies uh, because most of the time I'm gonna just attack with my Dark Forest, but in case I need double covers energy, I can always go with my. Uh, Razor Leaf for 90, or even faster with my Wood Blast for 70. Uh, and of course, 6 more Grass basic energies in total, which means that this deck runs 8 energies in total, and of course, 60 cards as usual for Pokemon deck. So overall, deck list is very balanced and is very consistent, that's the most important. Um, you should definitely try to, uh, try to build this deck and play with it, especially if you're a big fan of the item lock decks like I am. Uh, this deck has a lot of potential, probably it's uh, underrated. I would like to see um, this deck list uh, on a big tournament just to see how good it can go. So I'm just curious to see actually how this can go on a big event. Overall, um, I played only one game because there is some kind of the glitch today um, with the item lock. I'm not sure what is going on, but my opponent is just allowed to play item cards under my... Um, while I'm irritating Pollen on my bench, so I'm really not sure what is happening. Uh, somebody should explain me, uh, because I'm very uh, pissed right now uh, for that. But overall, I need to publish that, because it's a new day and it's a new deck list. So I hope you guys uh, are going to enjoy watching the rest of the video. At least you have deck list that you can simply uh, import. If you don't know how to import the deck list, um, I will show you right now. You just simply need to copy a deck list in my video um, description, go to a create new deck and import, and there we go. The deck list is here. So, see you in the game. Okay, so we're gonna call heads, a standard procedure. We're gonna lose the coin flip as usual, and uh, we'll try to beat my opponent with my Trevenant EX. Retreat lock. So let's see. Okay, a perfect opening hand. I really like it. I like my opening hand. I love it. All right, so Trevon on DX with the Dark Forest. You should be afraid of this beast. Really, you should. Okay, so uh, Trainer's Mail, Energy Attachment, Ultra Bull, and Setup for Six so far. Uh, my opening hand says, but I need something better. 
Oh gosh. A Pasimia. Hmm. Alright. Pasimia is gonna be very powerful. But once I manage to put my Dedicus GXs in play, and once I manage to establish my item lock, I think this that's just gonna be it. Uh, if he runs only four copies of double color synergies, I simply don't see reason how he, how he can actually win the game under the item lock circumstance. So, that end was broken, and I simply don't have nothing after that end. Uh, my hand is just completely uh, destroyed, so hopefully the top deck is going to be a little bit better, or that acro bike at least for Ultra Ball, so I can throw out my weakness policies, uh, at least. Or I can hope that my opponent will play that BC for N. He decided not to play it. Hmm. Alright, so Acrobike. Acrobike of Hope. Just for the Ravelet. Speaking about just for the Ravelet, um, since I have that Dragata Laser, it's gonna be a, a Dedicue turn 1, so it's not that bad, I guess. It would be even worse. So, just 2 damage counters. To one of his Ramorites. Do I want to play my Lysander? I don't have another option. So just passing my turn in hope to top deck Ultra Ball for two weakness policies and for Shaman setup of six. Even without that, at the end, I uh, managed to establish somehow my Dedicue GX, the first one on the bench, so it was okay Acrobike, at least overall. Um, Knowing that my opponent have VE Seeker, he might not have another draw support in his hand, so he might just play a, a VE Seeker for N and refresh my hand for 6. So I will have still two dead cards in my hand, in my deck, two weakness policies. So yeah, that's gonna happen. I should play both of them. But I didn't. And right now I will just recycle them back and drop them again, as usual. Or maybe not. Okay, so he decided to pass his turn, unfortunately, nothing for him. Uh, one timer ball, at least one hands will be great. Why not? Actually, why not to take that glum? Alright, so a uh, ultra ball. It's gonna be for one shame in the X. It's gonna be for one shame in the X, of course. And hope to find that Adish simply. Mm, yeah, it's gonna be Adish. There is a level ball. Okay, so a Riveta laser for Glum and Dedicute. That Dedicute will be play, then Glum will just enters the play, and then Seeker Morph for 7. Yeah, this looks like insane hand. What else I could expect? A Float Stone, an Energy Card, a Wild Plume, an Item Lock, a Knockout on his Active Remorite, and still I can just Dark Lock and Dark Forest my opponent active Pokemon so he can't retreat. One prize for me, which is a, a Grass Energy, and of course Mew will be promoted in the front, no doubt about it, and Dark Forest will just go for 20. Of course, uh, without Fighting Fury Belt, Mew is going to be knocked out next turn, but with the Double Core Energy top deck, uh, my Trevenant is going to absorb 130 with that team play. There is another Remorite. Of course, I just need to max out those Remorites, so he simply cannot take a Abyssal Hand. But the most importantly, right now he simply cannot retreat. And even if he wants to uh, deal some damage to my Trevenant, he needs to lose that double core energy. A team play for 130. And that's a huge 130 damage. That's a lot of damage counters. It's really underrated, but it's a lot. Okay, of course I'm gonna use my um, Feeder Arrow to his Mew. 
knocks out that mew, grab one more prize, which is gonna be a, another blunt. All right. And a dark forest, so he cannot retreat. Perfect. It's just perfect. Of course, another double course energy is gonna be enough for a knockout. And that end actually helped me a little bit, because if I can find right now double course energy, I can knock out his Pessimian. And I must say, um, tanks. Well, definitely tanks, because my hand is just gorgeous after that end. Really it is. Alright, so what he can take? Uh, Pearl City for sure, and something like a Deliquent. It's gonna be the best thing for my opponent. Just at least to try somehow, well, to mess with my bench, of course. Pearl City can discard uh, two Pokemons from my bench, and then Deliquent can ju should just discard um, three cards from my hand. If I have another Double Course Energy in my hand, and if I'm my opponent, I would probably go with that combo. Um, not far from that. Can I somehow put another Dedicue in play, so I can spread 6 damage counters and knock on his Remorite. Mm, in theory, if I don't have item lock, I could do that. Um, feather Arrow. Mm, I can grab Lysander always. But it's not for it in my opinion. Um, yeah, Rouse Relief for 90. That's enough for the knockout. I'm down to three price cards. Slow but easy. Slowly but easily. Um, grabbing that victory. So Pacimian can strike for 70 now. Hitting for 70 will take like uh, ages to knock me out. Well, thank you. Thank you for doing that. You just discarded both of my shades from bench. And I cannot hide my appreciate for that. Um, yeah, item lock is just very powerful thing right now in a format. Um, Dedicue GX 240, it's a very uh, powerful card. Um, how in the world you can play a revive? How in the world under the item lock you can play item card? Because there is probably some kind of the glitch in that trainer card. What the heck is going on? What the heck? What is going on? He didn't play... Did I miss something again here? No, I didn't. There is just a Pearl City in play, nothing else. I mean... Yeah, those glitches. He plays Sycamore, he didn't play a Hex Maniac. I'm probably missing something again, or I'm just blind. He, there is also Bursting Balloon, what the heck? How in the world he was allowed to play item cards? I cannot play my item cards, so I'm just kind of confused right now seeing this situation. But if you play Pokemon trading card game online, you should definitely like it. Because it's full of... It, the, the game is full of glitches. Um, it's just not true how many glitches this game actually have. Um, let's grab Trevenant. Forced and John Plant. No, let's take a Lysander. Forced and John Plant. And Shaman. Alright. Still, I'm confused seeing my opponent playing those trainer cards um, at his turn. So, um, next turn, our Octillery is going to be knocked out. Um, I will have Forest of the Jump Plant, a Lysander. Um, I mean, I can be such a badass uh, player and just Lysander his Octillery and leave him in an active position forever. I can do that. But why would why would I do that? Um, team play is gonna go for 100. 
So it's not gonna be a tons of damage counters, but knowing that my opponent already wastes two double core energies, I can just buy send one of his and other Pacinians. And he can again play an item card, where I'm not allowed to play item cards. I don't get this. I simply don't get this. I mean, what is happening? He can play item cards, I cannot play item cards. Is, 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 is there any card that actually shutting down my ability or what? I mean, Passimian cannot shut down my ability, he does not have ability. Okay, I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of confused. Probably Pearl City shutting down my ability. Probably. Not 100%, but probably my Pearl City shutting down my ability. <sighs> Not sure why even to think about that. Um, feeder arrow. Two damage counters. A Lysander. That's perfect. So, I'm gonna get a knockout to one of his Bassemians. And that's just gonna be it. I'm very mad. Really, I'm, I'm, I'm very mad because those developers actually get paid a tons of money and they simply cannot fix one glitch in a code. That's just ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. Before you release something to the public, um, you should test it before. You have a lot of time to test another a new set that, that will be released. And you have a lot of time to fix that because you're a huge company and you're getting a tons of money. And I don't see how, how those um, guys who actually um, program this game cannot simply fix uh, easy glitches. Or I'm just an idiot and I simply don't know what is happening when my opponent is allowed to play item cards under the item block. That's just insane. There must be some kind of the catch. And I still don't see it. I still don't see it. I still don't know what is going on. I'm still confused. Better somebody explain in the comment section what is happening why my opponent is allowed to play item cards under my irritating bullet wild plume? Because I'm very pissed right now. It just does not make any sense. Okay, Professor Skukui. I mean, luckily for me, the game is over and I'm gonna take the victory and I'm gonna show the world a new deck that can be played in standard format and I'm very pleased about that but I feel I feel very uncomfortable seeing that my opponent can actually play item cards under the item lock and I cannot play item cards under the item lock because he does not have Wobbuffet so not sure what is going on but thankfully it's the last prize card for me and it's a victory for me and yeah that's just it finally um, he can grab two prize cards, and that's just it. I'm gonna promote my another dedicated GX in the front and grab the victory with a smile on my face. But still, I'm, I'm, I'm very confused. I'm not sure what is going on, why my opponent was allowed to play those item cards on his turn. I simply don't know. But at least I managed to grab victory, so that's the most important thing um, in this game. So, as you can see, a pretty simple. A deck list that I use today um, with a Wild Plume, a Dedicute GX, and the Trevenant DX. Um, grass Pokemons are very powerful at this moment. Wild Plume is a very big um, Wild Plume is a very big deal in the standard format at this moment. Wild Plume is a, I should say, probably the best uh, support supporter Pokemon at this moment with that irritating pulling. It's not that we have right now decks that can be played with uh, Glacian and Jolteon in the past with Wild Plum. We right now have a powerful Stage 2 or Stage 1 um, Lorantis GX, uh, Dedicate GX. We have Trevenant with that Dark Seed, Dark Forest, who can actually prevent our opponent Active Pokemon from being able to retreat, where we can just spread up to 6 damage counters to one of our opponent Banshee Pokemon. Uh, that's just insane, in my opinion. 
that's just insane. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more future videos. Um, as always, if you have any questions, you can always leave the, leave the comments below. Let me know what you think about this deck list. Let me know if you know anything about that glitch with the item lock, uh, where my opponent was allowed to play item cards, where I didn't. I really don't know what, what happened, uh, but it was very weird um, to watch. So, have a nice day, until the next time, see you in the next video, as always, and goodbye.